Hi, I'm Mia Sabrin. This is my final video for Resources and ICT. I put all my enthusiasm in this project and I hope you like it. Well, I was thinking about my final exam and a lot of ideas comes to my mind. Finally, I think, well, I don't think, I'm sure that I have the idea. The name of my teaching design is Exploring the World. In this task, my students are going to explore other cultures of other countries through different technological tools. Typical food, costumes, way of life, curious and historical fact. These are some points that they are going to investigate and explore. This activity will be for the third cycle of primary school, as one of the contents of social science is the knowledge of the history of other countries and our own country. Now I'm going to explain step by step how this activity is going to be developed. As you can guess, this activity consists of children expanding their knowledge by learning about other countries and cultures. But first of all, can you imagine how these children are going to know everything about other countries and cultures? Probably not. Well, we are going to use TUCAP. TUCAP is an international app where we can connect with the school centers over the world. I'm going to put in contact with a school center in America and then with the help of the tutor my students will be able to hold conversation with these students to learn more about gastronomy, history, festivals. Obviously they can be helped by searching the internet. After that we are able to start to shape our work. But what are we going to do with all this information? Well, here is when we use another app. Genially. Genially is an app that most of you know about, and even some of you use it in your day-to-day -day life. Genially is an application where we can do so many things. Interactive image, slideshows, infographics. In this case, we are going to use this tool to make an interactive image. But how? Well, as I said before, one of the contents on which children should seek information is the gastronomy of certain countries. So, with this information, our students are going to make an interactive image explaining the different components and ingredients of a specific place. Mexico, Uruguay, Chile, Argentina, and even so Spain. Moreover, they can put typical ingredients or food from this country. The third and last step is going to be done with the help of Google Maps. Students have to search for the country from which they are going to do the activity. Then they have to record the screen in the places and streets where these countries made some special celebrations, festivals, traditions, some historical events that happened there. And then, as they have to present all their work in class, while the recording screen is presenting in class, they have to talk about this fact. All these activities are going to be performed at school, in the computer's class where they will have all the resources that they need. Also, this activity is going to be done by groups of four students. Then, in this group, there are going to be four roles that are the following ones. Facilitator. The facilitator will be the student who is in charge of the activity. His or her mission will be to make sure that all the members of the group are doing his or her work correctly. And in case that a classmate have doubts, the facilitator will transmit it to the teacher, in this case to me. Communicator This student is going to put in contact with the foreign student. What he or she has to do is to draw these American students, collect all the necessary information so that their colleagues can work. 
gastronomy manager. In this case, the student who is in charge of this role has to make the part of typical food. He or she has to make the linali part with all the ingredients and all the things to make the interactive image as cool as possible. Cultural manager. The mission of this student is to help and collect all the information about cultural facts in order to present in class with the help of the Google Maps recording. Finally, this activity is going to be developed in class with a presentation where students have to show all the work that they have been doing. Maybe some ethical problems that I could find is that for two of the apps, they need to create an account. And this could be a problem due to the age of the children. I mean, some of them are not capable to remember their password or their account. And uh, if they forget it, it could be a big problem. One of the main added values of this project is that most of the applications that we are going to use are widely known and popular. Also, they have basic technological competencies in order to be more easier to use, especially for children. Moreover, they can use all the tools and resources without any special equipment, only what is typically needed to do something with technology. And in this way, they can use it whenever they want. Maybe some change to do it at home could be the use of an application such as Classroom. And in this way, my students can communicate and upload their parts of the project. Moreover, uh, for the presentation of Google Maps part, I will do it through Zoom. And in this way, they can do their presentations. I'm going to evaluate this project individually and collectively. Regarding individual evaluation, I'm going to evaluate the performance of each role, how they work and the rest of his or her classmates' opinion about him or her. About collective evaluation, I'm going to evaluate all the teams the day of the presentation, as all the members of the team have to take part on it. The individual evaluation is going to be from 1 to 5 and the collective one is going to be from 1 to 10. Then I will do an average of both marks. To pass this activity, they need to achieve competencies corresponding to a sixth grade that are knowledge about historical events that pass at different times in history, both of our country and in the entire world. The two theoretical concepts are ACAD and PLE, and the two technological concepts are the projector presentation and the comic format. ACAD is a way to organize every project. It is divided in three subgroups, set design, the space of working, epistemic design, the steps and the knowledge of the process, and social design, the relations created during the project. For example, when you are a teacher, you need to be clear with your PLE to know how you are working. For example, a boss, a teacher, a director, even a mother use ACAT framework as they want, with the aim of perform they work as best as they can. PLE is the personal learning environment. It is the way and the tools that you use in your day-to-day -day life. It is what is surrounding and helps you. For example, when you are a teacher, you need to be clear with your PLE to know how you are working. Petakta is a slide show where you have to reduce and explain all the information into 20 slides of 20 seconds each one. For example, if you are a disorganized person, this will be very useful to do a clear and short presentation. The comic format is a way of presenting a story with all the content that you want in a dynamic way. This is very useful when you are a teacher because it's the best option to catch the attention of your students. I would like to include in my PLE the following concepts. Not limit myself to the information they offer me, but rather to look more sources of information. I struggle my mind to have more creativity in every situation. These two points are the most important for me, because the curiosity about life in all of its aspects is still the secret of great creative people. 
I believe that the dynamic of having roles in a work team is very useful, so I think that's another one. Also, try to do a mind map with all the information that I recollect to clarify my ideas. I also think that Canva was a discovery for me, and I believe that is one of the best apps I can use to improve my performance. Regarding the mark that I think that I earned, well, it's too difficult to be objective with this question. However, I think that I have been working so hard this term and with this stuff. And I think that I struggle my mind to do the activities as well as possible. However, I think that I have to improve so many things, such as my editing skills and the content that I am talking about. With all of that, I think that I should have around a 7. I think that all the roles that I have performed this course are important. And I have to say that at the beginning I saw this a little bit unnecessary, but then I realized that are very useful. So after that I think that the role that is most important is the analyst. Maybe the star role is not the most difficult one, but due to my personality I saw it as the most challenging one. Until the last moment I threw that I wasn't capable to perform it and I was really really nervous. And that's all, thank you so much for your attention and it has been a pleasure to explain my project. I hope one day I can put all my throws in practice. See you soon! <laughs>